It's a rain headed for us. We do. It's already in our northern county. So if you're starting your day up across Mercer, Auglaize, Shelby, Dark, even Logan counties, uh, you are going to have rain early on. And the rest of us want to take umbrellas as well because rain will move into our locations as the morning goes on. And even linger into the afternoon in some spots. Right now it's 73 in Dayton. It's mostly cloudy. At noon we'll have some showers, perhaps a rumble of thunder, and temperatures won't change much. Still right around 73. We should just push into the mid 70s as we head towards mid afternoon, but temperatures are going to be dropping late in the day as the rain will come to an end. We may even see some peaks of sun for the drive home, and it will feel less humid by that time. Here's a check of the radar Live Doppler 2 HD, Logan County, back through Auglaize County and into Mercer County, where we do have some steadier rainfall. Shelby, northern Miami County, a western half of Dark County, some heavier downpours just across the state line. Those will continue to work in. And this is all coming in ahead of a cold front, so active weather to start the day. And then with that front slowly pushing through the Miami Valley, we'll likely see additional showers and storms spark this afternoon, especially in the southern half of the Miami Valley. So here are the weather headlines morning showers and thunderstorms, fairly likely in most spots. And the chance for rain will linger in our southern counties through the afternoon. Afternoon with that front still nearby, and we get some heating, we'll see additional development. We turn less humid late today. It's going to feel really comfortable tonight and even on Friday, but then the warmth and humidity comes back for the upcoming weekend. It's going to feel summer like again. Right now it's 73. We have a southwest wind at 14. Our current dew point is up at 68 degrees. And here's future track 8 a.m. We've got those scattered showers and maybe an isolated rumble of thunder coming through. Towards lunchtime, some of that heavier rain moves off, but we're still going to deal with some spotty showers and maybe even an isolated rumble of thunder. With our cold front pressing through, the southern half of the Miami Valley will stand the best chance at any afternoon rain, while the northern counties look to be dry. Even for the drive home at 5, most of the area is dry and will turn less humid this evening and overnight. You can open up the windows. It'll feel so nice. Even Friday looks pretty comfortable. But we do still have the chance for some rain as this warm front will be lifting back in, bringing in that warm and humid air for the weekend. But tomorrow, at least, we'll be comfortable ahead of that front, 74 here. But you can really see that warm air, 80s, down to the southwest. That will head our way for Saturday. Your forecast for today will be up near 75, so not as warm as we have been. There's a really good chance of scattered showers and storms. We'll turn less humid late today. That will continue to be around tonight with cool temperatures dropping into the lower 50s. It'll feel like fall tomorrow morning and still pretty comfortable in the afternoon, up to 74 with scattered showers, thunderstorms possible, but definitely not a washout Friday. Saturday doesn't look like a washout either, but we do get more humid and temperatures come back up. 83. 85 Sunday will have that slight chance of an isolated shower and that will linger through Tuesday as the highs stay unseasonably warm in the mid 80s through Wednesday.